Hey guys, so I'm out at the range doing another ballistics gel comparison. Today we're doing three different 30 calibers. So we got the 30-30 on the left, 308 in the middle, 300 wind mag on the right. I'm using 150 grain bolts for all of them. The 30-30 uh, and the 308 are going to be uh, Remington core locks. The 300 wind mag is going to be some PPU. I wasn't able to find core locks for that. And uh, for the 30-30, I got my Marlin out here, 308. I have my Ruger M77. And then for the 300 wind mag, I have my newest acquisition, which is the Savage Self Evolution. And we're going to be shooting at 75 yards. And I have a deer shoulder, some ribs, and ballistics gel. So we're going to see how they all compare. Almost identical bullets. Biggest difference is going to be velocity. So we'll see what happens. All right, well, first shot with the 30-30. Hit to the right, barely hit the gel, flew out. Huge hole through the leg. Big hole in the ribs, just didn't catch the bullet. So, I'm gonna have to reset that up and try it again. So, once again, veered out of the gel to the right. I don't know what's going on with that. Very big wound channel. And it veered out. This is 16 inch block, so I'm guessing 14 inches or so. I mean, obliterated these ribs. Huge hole right through the uh, shoulder blade of the deer. Um, so I either got to keep trying with the 30-30 or just try with the other guns. I want to catch a 30-30 bullet, but I don't want to blow the gel to pieces just yet. Well, things really aren't cooperating today. First shot with the 308. Hit high, missed everything, but clipped the back block, blew a chunk right out of it. It's a massive wound channel. So, we'll try again with the 308. All right, so we got lucky and actually caught a bullet. Hit the top of the block again, even though I was aiming low. And there is the bullet there, a little hard to see. It's about two inches into the second block, which would be 18 inches of penetration. See the wound channel there. Not as big as when it was just hitting the uh, bare gel. And looking here, that's actually I spun the first block around. That's the wound channel from the 3030. There is a chunk from that 3030 bolt that took off on its own little tangent over there. And then the ribs. To be honest, it's kind of hard to tell what did what. And the leg, that's the hole from the 3030. That is the hole from the 308 right through the femur you hear the bone crunching around in there so pretty impressive oh we still got some gel left we we'll blow it all up and switch over to the 300 wind mag okay well unfortunately the camera was not recording for whatever reason um, I hit the gel block, completely spun it around, so this was somehow in here. That was the wound track from the 308 on the top, 300. 
just ah, completely blew through the left corner and tore that whole chunk off. That down there is the core of the bullet. It's kind of surprising. That is the whole jacket right there. Which is only halfway through a 16 inch block. I thought maybe the bullet veered out. But it looks to me like that bullet exploded. And I was thinking before this test that the 30-30 might actually out penetrate all of them due to the lower velocity. And the ribs, there are no more ribs. I actually folded them in half and doubled them up before that shot to make sure I hit one. And there's nothing left. The leg, I hit here. This is the 30-30 uh, hole. The 308 was in the top. That 300 hole is here. So, like the 308 right through the femur. You can see lots of lead fragments in there. So it looks like the extra velocity it exploded through the leg, through the ribs, and really did not penetrate very deep into that gel, which is very surprising. Well, since that last 300 shot didn't record in the slow motion, I'm going to take one more. And I'm going to take this shot with the Spear 190 grain impact bullet. This is their new bonded ballistic tip bullet. I could be wrong, but to me it's kind of like a, a tipped gold dot. Um, they do advertise it expanding at lower velocities than the competitor, so it might be softer than a gold dot, but that's kind of how I like to think about it. We'll see if this holds together a little bit better than the uh, the other ones. These are hand loads chronographed at uh, 2,950 feet per second. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to chrono all the other rounds today because I'm running out of daylight. So I'll probably do that a different day if I can before editing the video. But let's see if these guys hold together a bit better. Well, apparently I'm having some camera malfunctions because once again, I get over here, the camera's off instead of recording in slow-mo. The GoPro, I've still got that on camera. I kind of doubled up the leg and the ribs. And I don't even know where the ribs are. I mean, um, so, <laughs> there is nothing left to this leg. Blown to pieces. That fat block was in front of this block, launched over there. Um, so this one before had one wound channel from the 308 in the top, which I believe was here. 308 came through. Looks like the 300 hit right under that, pretty much dead center. Exit here out of that block, which means it should have entered. I wonder if that's it. That might be it right there, right at the end. I'm trying to remember what wound channels are what now. We had this is the 308 shot that stopped in this block, which that bullet might honestly be gone now. That was a 300 shot there. The 30-30 shot was here. And I have to do some more examination to figure out exactly what happened. All right, guys, so I'm back at home now to try to dig out some of these bullets. Uh, this is the wound channel from the 30-30. The bullet ended up exiting the gel right here at the 13-inch mark. You can see there's definitely some fragments in here. I can get this camera to focus. It's a little bit better. And then there is a fairly large chunk right down in there. And then when I took the uh, first 300 wind mag shot, it was in this block. That is where the bullet stopped right here. So if we got the tape measure, you're looking at pretty much nine inches or so. Um, before I flip it over, 
I actually pulled this bullet out already because it was sitting right at the end. This was the the second 300 wind mag shot with that spear 190 grain hand load. The uh, I actually already weighed the bullet. It's 140 grains. It opened up pretty much 0.65 all around. Um, so definitely opened up pretty nice. I don't know why the camera doesn't want to focus too good today. So this one went through that other block which was 12 inches and stopped about an inch into this block. It's only about 13 inches of penetration which I figured for a uh, 190 grain bonded bullet it would have gone a little bit further but it's just that velocity I mean it's almost doing 3,000 feet per second so then I flipped the block around when I shot it with the 308 so this is the 308 wound channel um, you know that one went all the way through this block and into the next block I don't really have enough counter space to get the next block up here at the moment so I'll get that one next um, it was still pretty good together until I hit it with the uh, 300 wind mag. So bear with me when I flip this around. I put the camera down for a quick sec. Alright, so then, you know, that one hit high. The 300 wind mag shot caught it here, blew this thing apart, and you can see the jacket, the base of the jacket down there. You know, sometimes it helps putting a light behind the gel. Um, other times it doesn't always help, so I'll try a flashlight. Yeah, it doesn't doesn't really help that much. I guess that helps a little bit, but uh, so anyway, I'm gonna dig out these chunks of bullet and you know we'll weigh them and see what happened. All right, well the second block got destroyed pretty much just from the one shot with the, the 300 there that first block you know I had the the one bullet that was a 300 and then the 30 30 that chunk was just a big chunk of copper jacket and then the 300 the same thing both of these were found eight inches in now the 30 30 the big chunk of lead did exit 13 inches where the 300, you know, kind of just exploded. There was one piece that left the side of the block and, you know, kept traveling. Um, but uh, this block, the first, you know, 308 shot, I hit high and, you know, blew a kind of a chunk off the top. The second shot, I went through that block into this one and the bullet stopped, you know, about two inches in or so. And, of course, I forgot to dig it out. Uh, I wasn't really expecting the 300 to blow this block to pieces, so I figured I'd dig the bullet out when I got home. But, you know, that second shot I took with that 190 grain spear impact did a lot of damage and honestly I can't tell I'm assuming if I was just shooting bare gel I would say this is the entry side it took a little bit to open up but I'm pretty sure this is the exit side going through that shoulder it pretty much just exploded um, but this wound channel I mean it blew the top off the block it goes all the way down pretty much to the bottom of the block We're talking six inches wide or so and it's just you know nasty this whole block got destroyed with one shot I mean you can see the meat and you know stuff all the way throughout this block um, it's kind of wild I mean, a bullet has like 3,800 foot pounds of energy and it dumped all of that in 13 inches um, the other crazy thing is you know that's pretty much the same penetration that I got from the 223 with the 70 grain GMX obviously it did way more damage um, so if you're shooting a deer this would definitely drop it in its tracks but overall it was a good test I still got one more deer like to do some experimenting with so until next time